select board to order. Close the meeting, wait, please select board to order. Uh, first item of business to review, discuss, and vote on the meeting minutes. Will we, Joyce? Joyce, I had a question. Um, I My recollection uh -huh. last meeting was that you had voted against the rejection of the two proposals for center school. Did you vote against or abstain? My recollection uh, is you... I think I voted no on both of them at the last meeting. I think the previous meeting I had abstained, but the um, uh, this most recent meeting, both votes, I said no. Okay. Uh, that's right. Then, when I went, I, I went through the minutes quickly, but I think that's what they say. Yeah. Well, but both there were two votes, both of which show you abstaining. Uh, let me just let's have just oh. to check the recording yes. and correct the minutes to reflect. The recording of the your vote. No, no, I I must have gone by that really. I thought it said no. It said abstain, but I I'll go back and check the recording and then make the changes as. Yeah, what well, what we have in hand shows oh, you oh. abstaining, and I. That most likely was I, my error. So I'll look back at it. Okay. Yeah. Uh, but whatever the recording shows will be recorded in the minutes. Any other comments on the minutes? No. Do I have a motion to approve subject to the correction, possible correction on that vote, on those two votes? I move that we accept the meeting minutes of March 26th with a possible correction on the votes on the center school. I'll second. Both Julie? Yes. Joyce? Aye. 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 Next, any payroll warrants, any comments or questions? Not from me. There's no. two there. We forgot to vote last select board meeting. So there, there's, we don't have to vote. Or not vote. See, I'm sorry. About yes. Looking at them. Any questions? So no questions on either. Uh, an appointment for shared conservation and Lynn or Trisha explain yeah, what he's coming on at 615. So okay. Oh, we can go to new business if you want. Okay, why don't we go to move we'll, we'll on that? Uh start with new business vote on the Quan Quan Farm seasonal license. I gave you a, a little sample of seasonal license that Quan Quan sent over. They have signed it already. They are our only seasonal license. Um, there's a attached fee um, for our um, seasonal license there. I've highlighted it for you. Um, and so, yeah. We have done this every year. Yes. So. I also have their license here right now for you guys to sign if you are ready. Okay. Any comments or questions on Quan Quan seasonal license? Do I have a motion? That's a I will move that we approve. I'll second. Okay. Any further discussion? Votes? Joyce? Aye. Julie? Aye. Aye. We next have a request for a one day liquor license for a Mother's Day race. Yes, yeah. Susan Monahan's race. We already uh, voted to approve it. Um, and then I just was waiting on her payment for those license, so I have that for you guys to sign as well. Okay, so we have approved the event that need to approve a liquor license. That's a different event. I'm yeah, sorry. That's a, you've already that's approved it. the event um, at the last select board meeting. Did okay. we approve the liquor license? No, nope, this is the um, approval for the liquor license uh, for the event. So right, that's but I, okay. Uh, I move that we approve yep. the. License the one day liquor license for the Mother's Day race. The second, any, any other discussion? No, Julie, aye, Joyce, aye, aye. Uh, we have a vote on the Wakely Elementary School spring fun run. This is the other event that um, you guys have in the packet there. Uh, all um, everybody's approved it except for. Key, which I'm pretty sure he is out. 
Um, is that what I heard? He or? is out, but you can uh, we can probably confirm with yes. him by email or something. I emailed him. He just didn't email me back this past week, so I was just I wasn't sure. I heard the grapevine he was out. Um, so like I said, I got email approvals from everybody except for Highway. Um, so I think we can approve this from our point of view, sending the approval from the highway department. Mm -hmm. This our approval will become effective upon this receipt of approval from the highway department. Anything? I would this second that. Do I have a motion? Joyce, you go ahead and move. Yeah. Your okay, oh, I get a chance to move here. Oh, okay. I um hope that we uh, vote to approve the Waitley Elementary Spring Fun Run pending approval from the uh, uh, Building and Highway Superintendent. I'll second. Any further discussion? No. Julie. Aye. Joyce. Aye. Both. Aye. Aye. Next. Discussion of Narcan box potential locations. What is our so there's um, some information about this in your packet? The opioid task force um, has been working on trying to locate an Narcan box, Narcan box in town that residents would know is there. Um, our Health person Mike Archibald came and met with both Len and I to discuss a couple of locations, and we both provided feedback. Um, and the consensus seems to be that the best location would be help me out here, Doug. Thank you, Joe. Yes. Um, at the Waitley, old Waitley Health Center, the old Waitley Where Health Center. Uh, Becky Jones's office. Yes. Okay. Where is that located? On State Road. Go further. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Um, yeah, it's oh, towards exactly. it's headed south from Christian Lane, maybe a half a mile south. Okay. Up yeah. Right, yeah. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, yeah. 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 Used to be the way the general store years ago, but yes. that would just, just maybe. Beyond, <laughs> the, beyond the strawberry fields. Right. right. Yes. Yeah. So it has to be in an enclosed area from the elements of oh. the overhang, and since that location is known to a lot of folks, and also semi-private but accessible, it can be easily maintained and rebuilt. Um, uh, the consensus was this would be a better location than say at the library or here at town offices which is really remote there's also a shark's disposal there mm -hmm. um, so um, if the board was agreeable to that location there's an agreement for um, the chair to sign um, how, how big is this what are we talking about physically? I, it's a little dispenser. Okay. Like, you know, not very big at all. Would it be mounted somehow? Yeah. Either on the hook, I don't know what wall there is there. I mean, it's there. underneath the, um, it's on the porch. So okay. it'd be underneath that. And that's why it's protected from the elements. Okay. There. Yeah. Um, and my question was, does it affect it being cold? And he said, no, um, that's one thing about um, the Narcan. It's not affected by cold. So having it under that roof line, and it's also a little bit more private than some of our, the other places where mm -hmm. people may not feel so um, nervous about going and, and getting there. And how, how would we publicize this? I mean, certainly we let the EMS people know? I would think we probably want to maybe go with the scoop or something and put it out there because it, it's mainly for, it's more for family members okay. um, that might have a concern about a, a member of their family. Mm -hmm. um, then it is, necessarily is for, for the person for, for themselves. Overdose. Yeah. Rather than for the person themselves, it's right. more you know in line for people who might have concerns over someone else. So um, putting it in the scoop, I don't think would we can talk about that a little bit more. Okay. Um, I'll ask Mike what he would suggest for how we should get the word out. And, and the idea of what the timeline is for getting this mm -hmm. place. Well, they're they're probably ready to go since they have it in other communities. Okay. Um, they have signage. They'll have to work with Dr. Jones. Um, 
given that she's positioned already, um, the training would be um, probably de minimis for her. Um, they maintain the box, they check on it once a month, so it's pretty well regulated. Um, and um, once it's in place, I think would be the time to get it in the right. website, things right. like that, Facebook. Okay. Mm -hmm. Will it be easy to see from the road? Like if somebody's like, I don't know where it is, they or they, they probably would not, not be. They would. Um, they would have address. to know. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So if you're driving by, you aren't going to know it's there. Like, like right. Uh, which could be a plus or could be a minus. Yeah. Right. right. Yeah. Joyce, any questions? Um, no, I think that. Uh, the letter and Lynn's little supplemental information there was enough for me. I think that's a good location. Okay, so I think we're going to need a vote uh, on signing a letter of commitment and then for the location of the box. I move that we uh, accept the location as described uh, by the two co-administrators for the Narcan box. Second. So, I, and that we approve the letter of commitment with the opioid, opioid task force uh, from the county. Second. Yeah. Any further discussion? Julie? Aye. Joyce? Aye. Aye. Uh, next, review and vote on uh, NIP quote for accounting software. Okay. Um, I think you've been kind of familiar with the, what's been going on. I think Brian updated you. Um, they're looking for a commitment at this point in time on the software. Um, it would be, it's um, 17000 for the first year. Um, the year's so you have a quote in front of you of forty one thousand dollars, and that is for a three year program. So um, I think this is probably it's been put in the budget already. Brian had already put it in the accounts um, budget. It's I think it's just a matter now of signing and saying yes, we're we're willing to go with this. So. Um, the, the number in the budget is at the one year. Well, if you take the sales price column. Uh, and just call it one instead of multiplying by yeah, three. Yeah, right. It call, um, the sales price column basically is the 17000 So. <laughs> okay, so we've got ninety five eighty three for one year, then a one one-time implementation of twenty three fifty uh sorry not of thirty six seventy five yeah. and then there's also an annual hosting fee on top of the subscription fee. Right. So the total is nineteen twenty two thousand six hundred or there approximately. Uh, it should be seventeen thousand nine twelve. Oh, oh, that, oh, that was multiple. That, yeah. that annual hosting fee is again multiplied by three. Yeah. Okay. So that fee is thirty one hundred. Yeah. So roughly yeah. thirty one hundred. So, so if you take the sales price column, that's what it is for one year. Okay. So and they for, for this year. each year after that, it, it's approximately seven. It looks like two. Yeah. Just between sixteen and seventeen thousand. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. seventeen thousand would be in the budget and this will be effective July first, which is not right. next fiscal year. Right. And right. we're carrying that in the budget right now. Right. Okay. okay. But there's no impact on current this, spending. This, this, not is this, for, this is for this will be year. for next fiscal year. Hmm. Any other questions or comments? No. There also is a chance that the uh, nine thousand may be a little bit less. Um, they don't have five firm commitments. Uh, if they get five of the Franklin Regional uh, Council of Government Accounting Towns, it will lower that price a little bit. Um, so it was, yeah, 
think it was 10 percent discount. So it may be even a little bit less than that if they get five. Right now they have five towns that are interested, but not five committed. So, but there are. Really. I assume other towns that are in the same position right. we are. So we're that, going to be making our commitment. Hopefully the other four towns will make a commitment and we'll get another 10% off. Okay. <laughs> Very good. Uh, I will move that we approve the Zobrio quote uh, for accounting services software. Um, second. Okay. Any further discussion? No. Vote, Joyce. Aye. Julie. Aye. Aye. So we have a cultural council. Um, the cultural council has, you don't have any literature on it. The cultural council, I just wanted you to be aware of it. The cultural council has got a grant for $5,500, which is their routine grant. Mm -hmm. They are doing everything electronically now. So Fred had to sign off uh, on the uh, contract, or if you agree, he'll sign off okay. on the contract. And uh, then I have to sign off on the contract as and not I, administrator. I got sign <laughs> so W9, which I didn't have the information for. They're doing <laughs> right. We I can get that stuff, but um it's all through DocuSign rather uh, than actual yeah. contracts. So I just thought that was interesting that they've gone that route with mm -hmm. this particular contract. Um so it is fifty five hundred dollars. It's something that is passed every year. That's what the Cultural Council uses to um, uh, fund their programs that they they uh, sponsor. So, uh, okay, and I will just say that the DocuSign system is confusing. It is, yes, it is. It is confusing. So, uh, so what exactly do we move if we're voting on this? We move to accept the Cultural Council application. Um, okay. It's actually the contract, so to accept the fifty-five thousand cultural council grant. Okay, I, so this is, I mean fifty. Oh yeah, that would be good, wouldn't it? A lot of art. Fifty-five hundred dollar um, grant that they—it's kind of an automatic. I move that we accept the fifty-five hundred dollar cultural council grant. I will second. I'll second that. Right. Give Joyce a second. Any further discussion? No. You're voting, Joyce. Aye. Julie. Aye. Aye. And we're still waiting on Scott Jackson. Uh, okay, well, we might as well move on to the assessor's vote. Let's just oh. keep going. Yep. That's what we're doing. Yeah, the assessors have voted to release their open, 150000 of the $204,000 overlay. Mm -hmm. um, so you had asked for that, and mm -hmm. they have done it, and that will, uh, that money, I don't think it's at the town meeting vote too. Okay, so that will end up basically going into free cash. Okay. And that... Uh, overlay account will then start getting replenished yeah. again because there's a yeah, tax rate setting time. There is an overlay um, dollar amount that will be put in. It, yeah, it's sort of weird because there's a release, but then you appropriate back in a town meeting. Yeah, right. So, but it all comes out. Yeah, well, that's what those money's been yeah. coming yeah. from. It's an annual appropriation yeah. at yeah. town meeting, and but they're for different fiscal years. So this release is for prior fiscal years. Okay. 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 But just in general, the the account will get replenished. Yeah, yeah. As it had been fed in the first place. Okay, so we don't even have, have a vote. On I that. don't think that, you that, need that, to. That's it's just an informational thing. Okay. Uh, do we have anything else before we get back to the appointment? Yeah. Okay. Keep going. Uh. Let me report on the Senior Center Feasibility Study and what was going on with that. Uh, I got an email a couple of weeks ago from the Planning Director, Assistant Town Administrator, and 
kind of fear field that the fear field wanted to put together a meeting to go over proposals that had been received for the uh, feasibility study. They got six applications for that and wanted to go over it. I have to believe that I was included because we do not have a full-time administrator at the moment. And they, I did they, ask them about that and because I mean, I thought yeah. maybe it would be Joyce who should be included on it as she's the liaison. And they said, no, they wanted the select boards. Okay. But, but so, yeah. so, so you were well, the only well, select board? Yeah. I, I, <laughs> I had thought that it was going to be a uh -oh. uh, an in person presentation oh, of, okay. of these things. The hmm. the other people on the distribution list for that were Deerfield Town Administrator, Sunderland Town Administrator, uh, the director of the senior center, and me. The, that was the distribution oh. list hmm. <laughs> on that for okay. notification of that meeting. <laughs> Uh, oh, Fred, they didn't want any troublemakers on there, so that's why you got it. it well, they don't know that you're a troublemaker, but you know, well, yeah, if they haven't been found out yet, yeah. they did that just a little bit because after the fact, uh, Jeff, the son of the town administrator, and I both wrote notes to the referee saying that the uh, South County Senior Center Board of Oversight should, should not be in the dark about meetings going on regarding the senior center. Oh, oh, and there was right. that no, the Board of Oversight was not copied on this and was not aware. I let Joyce know about it roughly an hour before the meeting was supposed to start because that was last Thursday. We had the snow, so when it turned into a Zoom meeting rather than an in-person meeting, and I wrote to Chris, who's the Deerfield assistant administrator and said, Are you going to move in our board of oversight person? Clearly, he did not. So, Jeff and I, this, at, at the end of the meeting, said the board of oversight really should know what's going on with regard to the senior center. There was a little bit of, you can call it pushback, which is commentary from the Deerfield. An administrator of why these things might be kept separate. You know, in the interviewing process from the final approval, but all, and that because the town of Deerfield is actually the hiring agent here, not the senior center per se, that that's why they were the lead agency on doing this. Hmm. At least. That is what the Deerfield Town Administrator. Well, they are seen. they are the lead agency right. on they're the fiscal agent right. for the project for the senior right. center. So well, I still think when thing, when major things are being done in the name of the senior center, the board of oversight yeah. should at least be informed that that these meetings are going on. I I think there might reference any uh, capital projects and stuff in the agreement, and I. I haven't looked at the agreement to see. Because it sounded like just a preliminary discussion and it sounded like they wanted the select boards when I spoke to Chris. Yeah, well, the, the, and then I because I said, you know, why aren't you why shouldn't it be Joyce, who's the, the senior center uh liaison and, and on the the yeah. booth for the senior center? And he says, No, we wanted to do it separately. So well, I, I think. We're doing it somewhat in the same way we're doing town administrators, which they want to have a separate group do the screening okay. and then give it over to the, the, the oh, board of oversight to do them. the final approval. Okay. So we went through six applications and suggested three to be interviewed or further looked into by the board of oversight. So that that is what happened oh. with that uh, mess. All right, thank you, Fred, for being such a troublemaker. I have a question about yeah. that. Um, I recall several months ago there was something about a grant that had been obtained in order to pay for the feasibility study. Yeah, is that still mm -hmm. available? 
I think that's what they're trying to do. My um, understanding from reading um, a follow-up article on that in the newspaper is that they applied for an extension for to be able to, it, it looked like the grant was going to go away and before it was going to go away, but they were able to apply for an extension. Um, and and I, I have to think that our local reporter had some, something to do with that because yeah. um, I think it didn't look good when they were going to send back all this money to the state that they had, you know, um, applied and, and got. So as, yeah. as the people who, who got the grant, they of course have the right to, you know, interview and, and, you know, choose who the person's going to do it. That's, yeah. that's not a problem. I, you know, I think um, uh, we just, we, we, on the board of oversight really insisted that they do it and that they include some things. It looks like they've included them according to the notes that I saw. So I, you know, I, I do like being kept in the loop. It is a little funny that they won't wanted the select board. Every member of the BOO is a select board member, right? Mm -hmm. So I, it's a little yeah. funny. But and, and I, the, the Sunderland person who was invited was the town administrator, not a member of the select board. Yeah. Um, so that was that I, it's a little odd, but you know, they, they're going to pick someone who's going to do the study. Let's get the study done, you know. Yeah, yeah, right. But the, the boo will ultimately pick the firm that will do the study. But this oh, is okay, probably a screening that was screened. We went through, right. good. I forget there were six or seven applications, but three. Three firms were, were going to be forwarded. Okay. Yeah. Uh, update on town administrator search. The screening committee received 15 applications for town administrator. The screening committee, which consists of myself, Jim Savini, and Amy Schrader, went through those last week and now to six people that we want to interview, and we've now got interviews scheduled for next Wednesday and Friday for those six people. And so the application period has closed? The application period is closed, and we are reviewing, well, we reviewed the applications, eliminated yep. more than half, and have six that we would like to talk to. Wow. That's that, I was going to say that speaks well for the, the pile of paper you got. Well, maybe not paper, maybe it's all electrons, but um, oh, no, it's all it paper. sounds like you have some, some very good candidates in there. If you want, if you narrow, you can only narrow it down to six. That's, um, that's fantastic. Yeah. Uh, still waiting for the no. Can we? I can do it. Why don't, yeah. why don't we proceed okay. with that, the conservation agent? A little time sensitive, so. There were seven applications for the Google study, not six. Okay. Uh, so, um, I'm coming into what has been a very, very long process, probably in the 11th and three quarter hour, mm -hmm. but um, a great um, initiative. And um, we're talking about the shared conservation agent shared among six communities um, that uh, the town of Ashfield, Buckland, Goshen, Holly, Waitley and Williamsburg applied for, um, with Asheville being the lead community. Scott Jackson, um, as you know, has been the point person on this uh, since the inception. Um, the group applied for a community compact grant mm -hmm. uh, to fund the position, and we were notified last week that it was successfully funded. Mm -hmm. So that means we need to do a lot of things very quickly in order to say we are wanted. So 
Somebody else can't get in the queue for it. Awesome. So the three documents that you had in your packet was the notice of the award, even though it doesn't mention what it's for. Uh, it's yeah. for, I believe, $80,000 to fund 100% of the first year of that. The grant letter here says 98000 so yeah. that was reduced. Oh, okay. um, um, so um, during the review all. process, they said if you could do more with less, that would make it more competitive. And we said, okay. yeah, we'll make okay. it work. So, um, so yeah, so that's what so, it's So the, the letter from the lieutenant governor we have that has the 98,000 figure is not correct. Right. But, um, that was a communication okay. glitch probably between them. So anyway, um, I uh, participated, I think the first week I was here with a conference call from the communities and Scott uh, to finalize the job description, uh, which you have here. And um, the intermunicipal agreement uh, between the six communities, there was uh, a lot of discussion as to how the Apportionment in FY26 when the six communities need to share the cost of the salary and the benefits mm -hmm. and administrative costs, you know, mm -hmm. house, office, housing, whatever. Um, and uh, that discussion centered on whether it should be on just population alone or a combination of population and EQV, which is how the FERCOG assesses. Under the formula of the population in Burkhoff, the town of Waitley uh, would have been a much, much higher percentage. Mm -hmm. um, but ultimately, the group decided that they would go on population alone, which, as you can see on page three of the agreement, our percentage of the total cost going forward in FY26 would be 17.97% which out of the um, six communities puts us squarely in the middle of the participating communities. So because we have to respond as it is, which is correct in the letter that we got from the governor um, by uh, April 19, uh, we need to sign an intermunicipal agreement, which you have a draft copy of, but um, would be looking for a motion tonight in, in a uh, concept that you approve it to enter into this when it's ready for signature that you agree to um, move forward with this program. As you know, Scott's been doing both conservation commission work and conservation agent work for the town for since I was here round one. Um, so this is really, really great news for us, and I would strongly recommend that the select board approve us entering into this intermunicipal agreement for the shared municipal conservation commission agent. Okay. Uh, based on figuring that 80,000, which is what we had to set, what it would cost pretty much annually for the whole program or the, the startup costs? Sure. So the whole year is covered. So we Well, this, this year, I'm, I'm looking forward. What, what, what our obligation will be in future years. So it would probably be that plus some um, seventeen point nine seven percent of whatever that is, depending on what the health insurance is, what the proportional cost is for housing to offer, similar to what we have for housing costs and whatever to the Fort Hills Health District and things like that. Mm -hmm. So um, I can try and get what. Yeah, I'm, not, I'm just trying to figure. Yeah. Is that eighty thousand an expectation of what? It will cost in the first year. Yeah, we'll probably appreciate, especially okay. since we squeeze some things to get to that okay. number. Um, I mean, the per individual will get a raise. There may be unintended expenses. Um, so we're, we're probably at eighteen percent. We're probably looking at fifteen to twenty thousand dollars a year, depending on. Yeah, I, I think okay. that's that was what we came up with. Okay. Yep. Okay. I just want I just want to put a figure to. Yep. Yep. Yeah. Um, is there a way to, sorry. I was just going to ask, is the first year really going to only cost $80,000? It, it seems kind of low for a person plus benefits. Well, um, we won't know until we try to find a person. And I'm okay. assuming 
covering significantly more than the salary because the salary is 42 to 45 based on right. experience. Yeah, so you get the benefits on top of that. The additional, yeah, yeah 25 to 30. It's, is, it's really the benefits can now yeah. help particularly in the health insurance. Yeah, okay. Okay. Well, I move that we uh, ex uh, move forward with this agreement. Do we yeah. accept it? No, okay. we don't accept it yet because it's not a final. You agree to sign. We, 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 we agree to sign. I move that we yeah. agree to sign this uh, intermunicipal agreement uh, for a shared conservation agent. And good work, everybody. And thank you for getting the grant. Thank you for coming in the 11th and a half. Well, yeah. I think we don't, it was Scott and probably yeah. Brian. And, and the thank Scott, thank really, you, by Brian. the way, their town administrator yeah. did most of the book. The, the, I, I know this. this yeah. yeah. Before Brian left, he was not sure this was going to get approved. So, yes. And that we would get enough towns on board. So yeah. it's a good thing we did. Yeah. And Yay. That, so we need a second, can I, right? Can I second the motion? Yes. Any further discussion? No. Voting. Joyce. Aye. Julie. Aye. Aye. Okay. When you have something for me to sign, I will come in and sign it. All they were looking yeah. for is okay, we got the money. Are you in? So that's what we're interested. So thank you. We're in. Okay. Uh, any other select board updates? Uh, I went to a water department meeting last week will not be able to make it this week they are working very hard on figuring out their finances which has been a big challenge um, they're figuring out now that they have meters uh, on many places they're trying to figure out how to standardize billing um, john lucan is pushing uh, for a capital improvement fund to set aside every year and an operating cash reserve set aside out of their budget every year so that they don't get caught short again. Uh, and he will also be starting, hopefully, to write uh, informational articles for the scoop about what the water department is doing so that folks who are getting the benefit of the water department services understand what costs what and why and how it all works. Can I add that Amy Schrader has worked really hard with uh, Wayne to get those bills out and address the cert they had a few meters that they were struggling with and yeah. Amy's been pushing <laughs> to get them oh, <laughs> and, and as long as you mentioned Amy she is. two weeks ago we approved a contract for that position and Amy has also approved it. So right. Amy Schrader is on board with a three year contract. It was two a two year contract <laughs> as creditor <laughs> collector. <laughs> Nonetheless uh okay anything else no nope. nothing for me and administrator updates um i have a copy of franklin and north Quabbin's age-friendly community regional action plan report that we received a while ago and the great thing about it is we got this Biffy certificate oh. that we are committed to making decisions at the town level that support age friendly initiatives and programs. So I just wanted to bring the board's it attention. It looks like AARP is sponsoring that. And, uh, <laughs> it's not Biffy, it's probably yeah. the decision. Yeah. But anyway, um, high quality. The report has lots of really neat stuff in it, actually. And um, if you have some, we only got uh, two copies, one here and one for the library. Okay, so decided. people want so, to look, they can yeah. come here or go to the library yeah. and look at the copy. Yeah. And that is the age friendly report. Report. Yeah. And then the next one, did that make it in the packet? Mm -hmm. I think I might have forgotten to print that, but I can go print that right now. No, it's okay. Sorry. It's okay. I don't know what I was thinking. <laughs> I know you sent it to me and I, I just... worked all day on it to get it to the <laughs> So I just did a little listing since there's two of us and so much going on with town meeting and budget and everything that I just did up a sheet of pending items. It's just broken out to different categories. It's a meeting of immediate concern. Um, direct um, needed action soon, longer term issues with town council, upcoming meetings and events. 
just so, and we'll update it every meeting so you all, we all have the same document to work with. Did you read it? I, I, I looked at it. Okay. I didn't read it. <laughs> <laughs> I just I you on it and I must have just yeah. completely disregarded okay. it. Well, you can, I can forward that on to you. Yeah, yeah, so yeah, 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 yeah. And yeah. then I'll do it for every meeting. So, um, fantastic. Uh, and thank I you. think it's in good shape for when your joint successor. <laughs> yeah, which we're working. That was a immediate concern. That was the first thing. <laughs> uh, immediate concern. Yeah. Town administrator <laughs> replacement. But um, but that way, I I always use that where I was before, yeah. and it just let everybody know who was on first. Great so, idea. Good. Thank you. Thank you. That's... Uh, the other another topic under the take down administrative section is the assistant assessor hiring. I've sat in on some interviews. Um, we have one candidate that we were very impressed with. Uh, Fred Orlowski was going to contact him. He had some logistical concerns about uh, he's working right now. There, I won't get into the details of it, but um, we're hoping that he is going to say, yes, he is interested. Um, if he does not, um, we didn't um, we felt he was the most likely candidate and that if he didn't accept the position that it would have most likely be uh, the company that would provide the service. Um, I can never remember. RGS, RRS, RRG, something like that. RRG. I can never remember the name. Um, and they would supply uh, a person. I think I talked about that at the last yes. meeting. Uh, but we're getting closer. That's okay. that was the main point of that. So, <laughs> so it's down to we're, this person, this or, person or, or the, the service. Yeah, or the service. Um, so he's supposed to get in touch with uh, Fred this week. So okay. we should know more. Okay. And uh, I also just wanted to um, remind you that we have a ARCA bus that we still need to appropriate by the end of December. They not only have to be appropriated, that's the water. I'm yeah, sorry. They have to be, just, uh, right. they have yeah. to be contracted yeah. uh, by December. Uh, during the budget process, there are a number of capital items that are out there that, uh, you know, we may have, there's multiple sources to fund yeah. those capital items, mm -hmm. but ARPA is, also, one of those funds to keep in mind. Right. I, I, I was going to say that in we, we've tried to use the ARPA funds for the last several years for a capital projects. So I think that we're going to have to just incorporate it into the budget process and keep them in mind for that right. with regard to the capital projects. Yep. So we just we don't want to use it for ongoing operation. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I yeah. just want to. Keep that in the back of your mind. <laughs> um, I think the uh, capital, there's also a uh, possibility of grants for some of those capital yeah. items. There's, it, there's yeah. other options available. There, so, from um, what I've seen in the list of capital options from the Capital Plan Committee, there are a lot of moving parts among the... Yeah, and there the, is not enough money left in the ARPA money to fund all the capital no. items. So we're going to have to kind of no, think, choose how we... But also on, on a couple of the items, there's a question, are these things we even want to do? Right. And if so, do we want to do them this year? Right, exactly. So um, that was just a keep in mind sort of thing. And just a quick update, the personnel committee met. Uh, they have... Uh, determined a COLA to recommend to the board. We went round and round and then round again whether to have bring it to you tonight. Um, but we decided we'll do it with the finance committee and have a actually a packet of information around that along with a few uh, staff adjustments. So you can have um, some good information around that. And uh, we're almost ready to um, finish the draft of the personnel regulations. But Joyce, this week, I haven't gotten to getting those changes in with everything else going on. But <laughs> <laughs> we'll get no, to I, this goal. I, I, you, it's my busy. goal before June 30th. <laughs> oh, and the water department update, I think I've already yeah, pretty yeah, much done that. Yeah. So yeah, we're okay. the liaison section, so we really don't have anything 
new to report there. That is it. We have any items not anticipated. Motion for a motion to adjourn. And I move that we adjourn. I second it. And you, you froze for a moment. Now. <laughs> Vote. Julie. Aye. Joyce. Aye. Aye. We are adjourned. <laughs>